AMC 10A 2019 problem 18. For some positive integer k, we have this 0.23 repeating decimal in base k, which is the same thing as 751 as its base 10 fraction representation. So we're trying to find what base this is. And this is the same thing as how we convert a repeating decimal in base 10 to a fraction in base 10. So for example, let's say I have 0.1 repeating in base 10. How do I convert this to a fraction? Well, we set this to be equal to a variable of x, and depending on how many terms are being repeated, in this case being 1, we raise the according base to that according number, which is 10 to the first power being 10. So 10 times x is the same thing as 1.1 repeating. Call this equation 2, call this equation 1. We subtract equation 2 with equation 1 to get 9x is the same thing as 1. x is equal to 1 over 9. And this process can be repeated and used throughout universally across all repeating decimal in different bases. But in this case, we're doing 0.23 repeating in base k. So likewise, we assign this to variable x. And depending on how many terms that's being repeated, in this case 2, we raise the base to that according number, which is k squared times x is equal to 23.23 repeating. Call this equation 2, call this equation 1. E uh, equation 2 minus equation 1 gets us k squared x minus x is the same thing as 23. And it's factor x, k squared minus 1 is the same thing as 23. Hence, and that's base k as well, x will be the same thing as 23 base k over k squared minus 1. Now, k squared minus 1, what would this number be evaluated to be? Well, k squared minus 1 will obviously be a number that's not present in base k because k is a number that cannot be existent within base k. So k squared minus 1 must evaluate to be a number in base 10 because any number that's evaluated and in, in factored out can be a number that's expressed that can be expressed in base 10. So we know for sure that k squared minus 1 is a base 10 number. But 23 base k is not. And that would be simple. Expanded, we get 2k plus 3 over k squared minus 1 to be its base 10 representation. So this fraction must be the base 10 equivalent to 0.23 repeating. But we are given what this fraction is. We're given that this is 7 over 51. So this number, this fraction, must be conveniently equal to 7 over 51 as well. And since we have one equation in one variable, we can solve the variable of k. So cross multiply. 7k squared minus 7 is the same thing as 102k plus 153. Yep. And then we subtract all the terms to the left side. 7k squared minus 102k. And then minus 160 is the same thing as 0. Now, this can be applied to the quadratic formula. To be k is equal to negative a, which is negative 7, all over the, uh, so, oh, sorry, uh, 2 times 7, which is 14. I'm blanking on the quadratic equation here. So 14, and the negative b will be 102, plus minus the square root of b squared. So b squared minus 4 times 7 times negative 160, which I've already pre-done the calculations to be equal to 14884. So 14884. Now, this square root evaluation will be evaluating to some quantity. But how do we know it without a calculator? And that's what I wish to show you today. If you do not have a calculator on you, you can just basically keep on factoring out perfect squares. Now, 84 is divisible by 4, so we can keep on factoring out root 4s. If you factor out root 4, this becomes 3, and then this becomes 7, 2, 1. And 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 3 is 13. But this number can be evaluated further. So if I take my my calculator and I take the square root of 3721, I shall get a solution of 61. And 61 times 2 will give me 122. So this entire thing evaluates to 122 squared. Now that might actually not be apparent to you, but if you cannot always evaluate it with a 4, you can always factor out more numbers. But for the sake of time, I will not be doing it in this video. But it is possible. You do not need a calculator to always solve it for you. But nonetheless, it's 122. And we're going to take the plus. Because if we subtract it, k will be negative and no base can be negative. So k will be equal to 102 plus 122 over 14. This becomes 2, 2, 4 divided by 14. We can divide 2 on both sides. So 7. 112 divided by 7 will give us uh, set 1, and then we'll put 6 here. So we have 16. So the base representation of k that this repeating decimal converges to 751 will be base 16, giving us answer choice D.